Hi guys, my name is Nia and welcome to my channel. Today we are drinking on a very, very fancy drink from the very, very, very fancy dine eating establishment known as Yard House and talking all about brushing locks. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and stay through for the rest of the video. Bye. Like I said, I'm drinking this drink from Yard House and it is really good. It is their pineapple mint drink. I don't remember the exact name, but if you have a Yard House near you, I definitely would give it a try. It's a really sweet, fruity drink. It's like one that'll just creep up on you because you can't taste the alcohol at all, so. Yeah. All right, so let's get started. Today we're talking about brushing lock, which is something that I really thought that I would never really talk about on here because for a long time, I couldn't see myself brushing my locks. I really didn't see the point. And to be frank, most of the people who I saw brushing their locks had traditional locks. Now, I welcome all different types of locks on this channel and I watch all different types of women with locks. I watch traditional locks, I watch freeform locks, but I have noticed that there are some differences in care based on like one, how you maintain your locks based on like if it's palm rolling or interlocking. And I, I've noticed some differences in care based on how small the locks are. So long story short, I saw people brushing their locks on the internet, people with traditional locks. I even noticed Dr. Locks has a new lock brushing tool on their page and I just, I wasn't inclined to buy it because I did not ever think that I was going to brush my locks. That was until maybe two weeks ago and I brushed my locks without even considering brushing them, like, or thinking that I was brushing my locks. What happened was there was uh, some buildup around my edges due to using edge control. Actually, it was like right here in this area. And I promise, guys, I did get that buildup out with brushing my locks very gently. But you would not have been able to tell now anyway because I've dyed my hair recently since then. Um, some people, as a way to like get rid of like those the look of the buildup in the hair, they dye their locks, which that is a way to get rid of the look. But over time, you're going to still have that gunk in your hair and it could begin to weigh your hair down and make it heavy. So yeah, dyeing your locks is a way to get rid of the appearance of buildup, but it, it isn't going to actually get it out. But anywho, so that's a little bit of a background about how I, I kind of stumbled into brushing my locks. I'm going to talk a little bit more about how I do it and I'm actually going to demo for you all how I do it. But before we get started, I'm going to talk a little bit about brushing locks in general. After I brushed my locks and I realized, oh wait, Nia, you just brushed your locks. I decided to start looking into brushing locks more and just do some research. Before I had just seen it like on Instagram and I saw it on Dr. Locks website and their Instagram page, but now I actually wanted to really get out there and kind of get some information about why people brush their locks. So the two things that I did was one, I looked on Dr. Locks website, they have a blog and I highly recommend looking at their blog. Dr. Locks is a professional loctician. She's worked with locks for a long time. I'm not gonna get into all of her credentials and her accolades because I don't want to miss any, but if you are into research or if you're into looking some of that stuff up, you can look it up. So I like going on their blog and what I like about it is you can actually type in a topic in the search section and bring up the blogs that they have written about that topic. So what I did is I went to their blog on their website and I typed in brushing locks and then bloop, then their article popped up about brushing locks. I will also have that article linked below if you guys would like to read it. So in that article, I saw that they really highlighted three main reasons that people brush their locks or three main reasons that they recommend brushing locks. And those reasons are brushing locks can encourage growth according to them. They help, it helps eliminate frizz or prevent frizz, not eliminate. We've talked about there's no way to completely eliminate frizz before, but it helps prevent frizz, but also can help reduce lint buildup. And I was like, ding, 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 ding. I'm onto something, I'm onto something. So I looked at that article and then I will say, I also watched Keisha Charmaine's video about brushing locks and she essentially said the same thing to kind of help get out the lint and buildup. Um, I will say I differ with her slightly on like her method of brushing and I will go into that more. Dr. Locks on their website, they talked about the best way to brushing locks would be to start from the roots and just gently brush down. They also said that if individuals have a lot of hair growing away from the locks and they're worried about um, slippage and such, that you could start like a little bit past the root. I'm assuming they mean that instead of starting right here, 
and brushing down, those people can maybe start right here and begin to brush down. So that is what that article said. Now, Keisha Charmaine, she did mention that you probably don't want to start at the root. And she said, don't actually, she said, don't start at the root because of like slippage and all that jazz. Now, I'm going to tell you guys what I did before I did all this research. I was just really frustrated with like a little bit of buildup on the sides. And it wasn't a lot. I keep on calling it buildup, but I don't even know if I would call it true buildup. It was more just like some flakes that was causing me some frustration due to the last time I used edge control. I tell you guys that you want to try your best not to get your edge control actually like in your lock. And well, um, I did that. <laughs> and so I needed to get that little bit of buildup out of my lock. And so what I did is one day I took this here brush and this is just a brush that is my husband's brush. He uses it to brush his hair. I don't have a link. He got it from a beauty supply store. Um, for those of you guys in the States, I know like every place I've gone to in the States, they've had, they have like black beauty supply stores around and you can pick up like a brush like this. So this is a soft bristle brush. It's not one of the like the really, really hard ones. He has a few and I picked up the softest one he had in there. And all I did was I just started like brushing like in like little swoops around my edges to get that build up out. I also used the Dr. Locks pre-pro when I was doing that to get that build up out. I have a full review of all the Dr. Locks products linked below if you would like to know my full thoughts on those products. If you have already watched the review that I did on the Dr. Locks products, I have a brief update on the pre poo In the Dr. Locks video, I did say I could not really smell the apple cider vinegar in this pre poo The key ingredients in this pre poo are apple cider vinegar, sea salt, water and witch hazel that is what they're using to help clarify the um, or begin the clarification process of the locks and the scalp now that i've been using it to kind of help brush out some of the buildup around my edges i do smell an acv scent and i'm wondering if i did not smell the acv scent before because either one i was more focused on like getting the content more focused on like filming myself as opposed to really truly taking in what uh the product was doing i don't think that that's the case here's what i think may be the case i didn't shake the product before i used it i wonder if i was spraying on primarily water while it did have a scent before it wasn't like that acv scent now mind you i can smell the acv but it's not like horrible I don't like the smell of apple cider vinegar at all. It makes my stomach hurt. It makes me feel like I'm gonna vomit. This product doesn't make me feel like I'm gonna vomit or make my stomach hurt. But now that I've used it for a while, I can kind of get like a little tinge of that ACV scent. I do really like using it around my edges and then just kind of brushing it out. Um, I didn't really truly brush like my locks, like brush it down the length. The only time I've really done that is if I'm trying to sleek my hair into like a low pony or something like that, I'll push my hair back and I'll just use this to brush through. But yeah, that is how I have been brushing my locks. Like I said, I never thought that I would brush my locks before. I just thought it was something that didn't make sense for my locks, but I have been enjoying brushing them. Brushing them has helped keep that buildup and like lint slash like flakiness out of my edges where I do use edge control and such. So yeah, I've been enjoying it. Something that I want you guys to consider is while I did start at the roots, which is something that Dr. Locke said to be careful about and Keisha Charmaine urged against that, I was doing this fairly lightly. I wasn't like going very hard. And Dr. Locks also mentioned that it's more dangerous for those who have um, locks or have hair growing away from the locks. And typically that happens more with looser texture hair. And for those of you all who do not know, I have 4C hair. And so slippage and stuff isn't as much of an issue that I struggle with in my natural hair journey slash lock journey. So um, yeah, that is where I'm at right now with brushing my locks. I'm gonna continue to do it. It's not like on a regimented, you know, time frame or anything like that. I'm just going to continue brushing them as needed whenever I have that build up to kind of get everything out. Another thing I would like for you guys to be mindful of is the fact that I have mature locks 
and that individuals with baby locks, this could be damaging to the locks. Somebody brought that up in one of my comment section that, you know, I have mature locks and then this is not, you know, very conducive for those with baby locks or it could be dangerous for those with baby locks. And I completely understand. I may not be able to give this disclaimer in every video in the, you know, the whole, I have mature locks, be wary for baby locks. I've done videos out there where I kind of give my idea or not my idea where I kind of uh, go through my baby lock routine. And so those are out there. Just know that these like things that I'm talking about and these tips that I'm talking about most of the time are pertaining to, to individuals with mature or locks. Something I want to encourage you guys to do if you do decide to brush your locks is to make sure that you maintain like a gentle hand. You don't want to go at it super heavy handed. And then you also want to make sure you have a brush that has softer bristles. I kind of talked about that, that at the beginning, but I definitely wanted to reiterate that this is something that should be done gently and something that you that should be done with a brush with softer bristles. And that's about it. So that's really all I have to talk about when it comes to brushing my locks. It's not like a big shabam, which is why I don't have a lot to talk about in this video. It just, this is what I'm doing. This is what's working for me right now. And I will just keep you guys updated on how things go with me brushing my locks in the future. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will have those two, like the two references that I mentioned in this video linked below. Peace and blessings, guys. Bye.